WNBA on NBA Top Shot. I'm actually way too excited for this. Don't know why I'm so excited for it, because I'm not a huge follower of the WNBA, but I think it's just really cool that they're adding this in, and that's what they've been up to this summer. So we have a pack coming on Friday for the WNBA, and I think maybe why I'm so excited about this is because all the promotion that they're doing around the WNBA, which has been pretty cool to see today. So obviously we have this page here and this video that's narrated by Lisa Leslie, who probably is the most famous WNBA player of all time. And then scrolling down, we have a little more info on this. We actually get to see one of the moments here, Asia Wilson. This moment's actually pretty sick. Two-handed block and then rips it away from the other player. So some of the promotion that they've done around this is mostly on Twitter, which, which I think is pretty cool. You got the WNBA themselves to tweet about it. And here's the tweet here just two hours ago. And they basically are promoting people to sign up for NBA Top Shot. So getting new people into Top Shot and then almost 300 retweets and 700 likes already. For some reason, it won't let me like it. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but um, that's pretty cool. And then also Lisa Leslie posted about it as well. And the WNBA has 714,000 followers, which if we come to Top Shot, they only have 250,000. So they have about three times as many followers. And then also Lisa Leslie, who narrated the promo video, which is pretty cool. Let's see how many followers she has. So she has 120,000 followers herself. And she just posted that 54 minutes ago, already 100 likes. And then Asia Wilson, I'm guessing, posted about it as well. And here's actually another video from Asia Wilson. And let's see, she probably has maybe even more followers now. Nah, just under 95,000. But she actually hasn't posted about it, which is interesting. I wonder if they're going to make her post about it or ask her to post about it. So let's get into the drop. So for this common pack drop, it's the best plays of 2021, I believe. And it's going to feature 25 different moments from stars on all the WNBA teams. And you get three moments per pack, just like a normal common pack for $9. And then you also have a priority queue where you're guaranteed a pack. And this is the part I don't really understand. To unlock the priority queue, grab an Asia Wilson common moment before the drop. But how are we supposed to buy an Asia Wilson moment. Maybe that's what I'm missing out. If anyone has figured that out, I haven't looked into it too much on how to actually get an Asia Wilson moment. But if you just come to the marketplace, there's no Asia Wilson's available to purchase. You can search her name. You can search WNBA and just nothing shows up. So I don't exactly know about the priority queue of how to get one of those. Maybe I'm missing that in these write-ups. So there is 75,000 packs in this. And the general queue will have 50,000 plus available. So a ton of packs. Honestly, you probably don't even need to get in the priority queue. But I kind of just want to have one of these as soon as possible. So I kind of want to get an Asia Wilson if I am able to before the drop. And then on their blog post, they already posted a bunch of stuff about what they're doing around WNBA already. So the beginning is just like a write-up about the WNBA. You can read that if you want. And then they don't have a full list yet on the website. But then it says a few here, Diana Taurasi, Candace Parker, Sue Bird, and Brianna Stewart. So then they have a lot of general information because I think they're expecting new people to come in for the WNBA drop. Um, so they just explain, explain how drops work. And then they get into more about what they're doing with the WNBA. So is our first WNBA showcase is also hitting the site on Friday. So they're already making a showcase challenge around WNBA. 
And then they say, want to collect Asia Wilson first scoring moment on top shot. To get it, you'll need to add one fandom WNBA moment and four common WNBA moments to a showcase after the drop. But I guess they're making another Asia Wilson because they're talking about her scoring moment, not the block moment. Oh, so something I guess I missed in this blog post. There was a lot of words. I didn't read it all. But this paragraph right here explains what I was confused about. So to guarantee access, you'll need to have one common Asia Wilson moment by the time the drop starts on Friday. These moments will be airdropped to some new WNBA fans who join the Top Shot community this week. So it's only people joining this week for the WNBA drop are going to get those. And another thing with the WNBA drop is if by Monday, August 30th, at 9 a.m. If you own one WNBA moment, you're gonna earn a fandom tier WNBA moment as well for free. So basically getting a pack of three, you're really getting four cards. Just one of them's coming Monday, not Friday when you get the pack. So I probably wouldn't recommend holding on to this pack. I would recommend opening it uh, just so you can get a fourth moment because if, it, if you just have the pack in your collection and don't actually have the moment, you're not going to get this fourth moment for free. Or I guess you could hold the pack if you're a pack holder and then you could go to the marketplace and just buy one to have in your collection to get a free WNBA moment. But now let's get more into what these moments are going to look like as far as the mint count and all of that. So the one that is going out to new people that are joining this week it's going to be super limited that asia wilson i mean i don't know how many people they're expecting to join this week but i would think like ten thousand or less and then they said that only some people joining this week are going to get the asia wilson moment so these ones are going to be definitely less than ten thousand i would assume so that's the one right here so i guess under ten thousand is going to be distributed for this one and then for the actual packs in the common packs, how many of those are going to be out of. So we've seen new common moments that they've been making are out of 40,000 for the NBA last series in series two. But for the WNBA, if we come back to the pack and look, they have 75,916 packs with three moments in each pack and 25 different moments in the packs. So if we do some quick math, 75,916 times three moments in each pack. So number of packs times how many? We get 227,000 total, and then you divide by the number of moments, which should get you how many they're gonna be out of in less I'm doing my math completely wrong here. So these common moments for WNBA should be less than 10,000, as we're seeing here, 9,109. I guess it would have to be rounded up because it's not an exact number here, but that should be a rough number of what they're gonna be out of. Looks like 10,000 or less. So these are gonna be some nice cards to have most definitely it's not like opening a pack of just 40,000 K plus moments these are gonna be a lot more limited so definitely going to get in on this drop I mean 75,000 packs there should be enough for everyone to get one and if I'm thinking how much these are gonna be worth I mean 25 WMA players and you're gonna get at least three so there's a good amount of stars maybe like half the players are stars or players that you've heard of if you're an NBA fan and not really a WNBA fan you've probably still heard of at least half of them so any of these like name brand players are going to be fairly sought after I would think and at least ten dollars per moment because I mean if we look at 10k moments for regular NBA. Let's see if Top Shot fixed their serial number slider yet. It's been broken for, for months. Um, this is new. They got the league here. You can switch between just on the side. 
So some people thought they're gonna have a whole new platform or a whole new tab up here, but it's just a filter. They had a filter here where you could, like a slider where you could do it by serial number, but it looks like it is gone. Hmm. So we're not able to sort by f uh, serial number anymore on Top Shot, which is weird. Price lowest ask though, if we wanna cancel out anything lower than four, is that how this filter works? Or is this just gonna show P things lower than four? Yeah, so this filter just shows moments lower than four. So actually to look at moments that are 10,000 or higher, we're gonna have to come to a third party website here. This is Add More Funds. If you wanna use this, I'll link it down in the description. Actually, we're gonna filter by 10,000 and a one. And then hit the lowest ask. So the lowest out of 10,000 is DeMarcus Cousins. Doing my guy dirty. 18 bucks though, for something out of 10,000. And then a lot at 20. So one thing I just thought of actually, I guess they don't have to release every single moment Two is the other thing, so maybe I got a little too excited when calculating how many of these would be minted at, um, because they don't have to release every single moment in this first common drop. So we'll see here when they mint them, but still, even if they're out of 40,000 plus, I think it's still gonna be a cool drop. Definitely one you're gonna wanna get in on. So let me know what you guys think about the WNBA, if you're excited about it or if not. Um, anything else Top Shot related, comment it down below, like the video, and subscribe for more on NBA Top Shot, and I'll see you guys in another one.